once you turn off of County Road 29 onto the Clayton Road, all the uh, directions are in this flyer, which is a great thing. But you turn onto the Clayton Road, and it's just three kilometers to the Millican Tail. Lots of signage, lots of good uh, areas that uh, show you your way, so you won't get lost. But the countryside here is pretty cool, even if you did kind of get off the beat. Ah, Manart County at its finest. So off the Clayton Road, you turn onto Ramsey Concession 8, and then you get to here and you drive in the gate. Lots of parking, a uh, beautiful stone home that was part of the mill and the mill thing. Now obviously the mill is way down in by the water. This is a waterfront property. There's an acreage here as well, so lots of things to see. Hey, there we go. So we're kind of set up. We got here. We're all uh, just in, in the area. And just behind me here, you can kind of see there's some open meadows, there's some, some natural grasses and stuff that they let grow up here. Actually, uh, four or five years ago, a whole group of us uh, planted a bunch of uh, walnut trees, hickory trees, oak trees, all the nut trees. There's going to have to be a, a, a big plantation of nut trees there as they come along. So that's, they've been growing. I'm sure if you get out in there and look around, you can find some of the small uh, little trees coming because we planted them all from seed. So some would take, some wouldn't take, but some great areas there. So just in the flyer, here for the Millican Tail. I uh, just wanted to say some of the observation points uh, are before the gateway uh, where we are. Check out the open fields and that kind of stuff. Uh, and if you follow the trail along to the mill, and we're going to walk down that way now, uh, there's lots of different spots uh, there that you can see some variety of different things. And this time of year with so many fledglings and things around, we're not only seeing birds in, in, their, in the trees or in their habitat, but it's a great opportunity. It's a nice bluebird kind of a day no pun intended, <laughs> to, to be able to see fledglings, uh, particularly some of the raptors, some of the hawks and things that frequent uh, the open pastures and open uh, open fields here, feeding their young, particularly like uh, red-shouldered or um, uh, red-tailed, uh, some broad-wing hawks, all those guys, guys uh, you know, are also have their young and that they're training and teaching now as well. A great spot in the spring for warblers and, and a lot of the grass birds and things that of course are out in these meadows and stuff in behind. So we're going to take a little saunter down the trail, see what we can see here at the Millican Dale. Hey, that almost rhymed. <laughs> so down in here by the uh, picnic area and things, they have lots of parking. Uh, some different cabins and some things that you can look at. You see the log building and stuff here. It's a Pioneer cabin they have. They have a really nice uh, picnic area down below here with a bunch of tables and uh, picnic tables and things down there. And uh, you can come and have your lunch, spend the day, do a lot going on, lots of signage. And we're going to take the path down to the museum. Nice big pine tree right there. So here we are at the Naismith Museum inside the Millican Tail. Is that the right? Naismith Museum? Or what would you say? Uh, the Naismith Level. Na ah. It's the R. T. McKenzie Correct. Memorial Museum and located within that is the Dr. James Naismith Collection. And we have the good man right here, the inventor of basketball from Helmont, Ontario. Uh, and I'm with Stephanie. And Stephanie, you, you're the curator of the museum. I am. And the site supervisor of all the grounds. So how That's many, right. How many acres are here? Uh, 154. 154 acres here that you can come in daily from? 10.30 uh, a.m. till 4.30 p.m. Those are the museum mm -hmm. hours. Right. Uh, but the site itself is open from dawn until dusk. Uh, so you're welcome to come, uh, bring your dogs, as long as they're all on leashes, leashes yep. um, and Pick obey up the, the poop and scoop <laughs> yeah. rules. Um, and there's a $6 per vehicle site fee, but that also includes your entry into the museum as well as use on the site. And for a cheap $40, you can get a membership and you'd be able to come Anytime. whenever you want. And that also includes uh, Purden Conservation Area mm -hmm. and um, Morris Island Conservation oh, Area nice. as well. So you're incorporated with all those places? That's right. Nice. Well, the birds, as I was mentioning, the birding here is fantastic in the spring. It's a little warm today. Uh, the deer flies seem to be a little more prevalent than the birds are today, but I did kind of get through the bush and stuff. And we're into some of the nice buildings here and some of the great things that are available here in Lanark County. Thanks, Stephanie. I appreciate you coming on. Great. Thanks so much for coming in. Well, there we go. <laughs> that was cool. I got to meet Stephanie and the girls in at the museum, the Art Tate McKenzie Museum. Uh, we were down in the Naismith uh, section, so Dr. James Naismith, the inventor of basketball. So we're just heading out here. Fantastic location to bring the family. 
fantastic place to do some early morning birdie, late afternoon birding. 150 acres here. So stop me at the store, I'll give you one of the flyers and come enjoy the Millican Dale. Talk to you soon.